We're continuing our coverage in Franklin County tonight. That's where 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett joins us live to show us how crews would battle flames from wildfires on the front lines. Lindsay. This week, firefighters from all over the state are learning how to put out wildfires. And in this drought, they say the timing couldn't be better. A fire needs three things to burn. It needs oxygen, it needs fuel, and it needs heat. Take away one part of that equation, and you can put it out. So with the crank of a saw and the rev of an engine, these firefighters are learning how to control and extinguish a wildfire. Instructor Randy Fleming says they start by cutting down trees and brush to create a fire line. Pretty much just building a road uh, around the fire. From there, they'll try to expand the fire line, extinguish flames where they can, and wait for the rest of the fire to burn itself out. And the fire will not, of course, burn dirt. So therefore, we always try to get it down to the bare mineral soil. The Virginia Department of Forestry hosts this Wildland Fire Training Academy. About 70 students from different agencies across the state enrolled, like Zoe McGee, who works for the Department of Conservation and Recreation. These trainings are definitely really important uh, in getting the confidence and, and executing these jobs safely. Given the extremely dry conditions across southwest Virginia. Difficulty in containing, that, that's more the issue of a drought, is, is how difficult it will be to contain the wildfire. They're training while they can't, so they'll be prepared if the forest ever goes up in flames. We're really looking for some rain to come and help us out with this. These students spent one day in the classroom and two days out in the field getting hands-on experience. After this, they can take more classes to continue their education, and then it's just a waiting game until they get a call to help put out a wildfire. Live in Franklin County, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.